Okay, so it's a little zoomed out here, so you got a nice little shippy poo over here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the thing over here. So, oh, this is gonna be like one of those impact tests. Uh oh. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with some more sinking ships. So today we're going to really screw with physics here. I actually made it to where you guys can see the options menu, which is going to be nice because you guys can come up with suggestions uh, for what you want to see here in Floating Sandbox. So, you know what, today we're just going to start this off with a bang real quick. Let's go ahead and go to tools. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the, uh, the remote control bombs here. We're just going to go crate. wait. Okay, did those go off on a, no, I think I detonate those. Okay, there we go. Up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, okay, there we go. Is it weighing down the ship any? No, I don't think it is. Could you imagine if you saw bombs this big on the side of a ship? Be kind of crazy. So anyways, I think that's kind of actually annoying. So if you guys have any suggestions for Floating Sandbox, do comment below. And if you're enjoying this on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And here we go. Uh-oh, uh oh, 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 <laughs> oh, nice. I probably should have turned up the strength on those. It didn't quite go down like I thought it was going to. Oh, here it goes. Sad music. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and turn that off real quick. As she crashes to the bottom of the sea, we're gonna go ahead and go apply. There we go. Nice. Alright, so that actually worked quite well. Now, there's another tool that I actually haven't played with much, and I don't know how I've ignored it. Let's uh, go to that. Alright, so I know I was a bit of a dingus uh, one of the last episodes. I was like, man, you got this move tool, but you can move the ship, but you can't, like, throw it around and stuff. And uh, I kind of figured out there's an actual grab tool. Like, this is a thing. So we can just go, there we go. No, I don't want to grab the rope. No, no. Okay, you can just go there. All right, let's pick up the ship. Kind of takes a little bit, but now the physics are still running during this. So uh, the ship has the chance to like break apart. Could you imagine being in that while it's flying through the air? Oh, and, oh let's go higher, higher. Oh, something went wrong with the electrical. Yeah, this is normal. This is normal. All right, what happens when we let it dive bomb here? Uh, you know what? No, let's go higher. Let's go. No, 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 no. We might just sink a ship without actually damaging it here. All right, here we go. Come on. I actually like this. Uh, it kind of like sucks everything to where your cursor is, which is pretty cool. But I don't feel like it's got enough strength to pick this thing up. Hold on, let's just dunk it. There we go. Just hold the ship underwater. Eventually, it will go down. Actually, there's no water getting into the hole, is there? That's kind of weird. All right, I know we could screw this up. All right, so we have the destroy radius. Let's just go all the way to max. And we got the ultraviolet mode. So let's go boom. So does that affect these? Oh, it oh okay. That is like, oh, it's like gelatin. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Isn't this basically the antimatter bomb? Uh, hold on. So if I release, does it go poof? Yep, it still goes poof. What the heck? Alrighty. Hold on. Let's go ahead and reload that real quick. So if I were to make it, can I just drag the ship? Hold on. Look at this. We can make it. It's like one of those little uh, paper sailboats. Yay, this is fun. Hold on. Let's go ahead and jack up the waves real quick. All right, water craziness is up. Make it all vibrating and stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to wave height. Let's go to max ocean depth. You know, let's keep it pretty uh pretty shallow here. Let's make it really bumpy. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now can we make it like jump the waves? Nope, I think it's completely ignoring the waves. It is getting some sick air though. You got to give it that. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, can we make it do a, a back? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna try to see if I could swirl it around to a bat. Wait, is this still holding together? Oh, it is. Oh, it's just getting some sick air. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Nope. It's still together. Hold on. This piece can go over here. Go over here. Oh, oh, this is great. It's like if it's in the middle of a hurricane or something. It's actually trying to catch this. Oh, okay. This might be my new favorite tool now. This is great. This is like antimatter bomb, except for you have complete control over it. Hold on, ready? Let's go. And there it goes. 
Yep, there, <laughs> there she goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she's coming down. Ah, and it's not falling fast enough. Let's suck it towards the bottom here. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh, it just completely disintegrated as soon as it hit the ocean floor there. That was cool. Is that like the, the backbone or the tailbone of the ship? What piece was that? All right, that's kind of uh, interesting. So we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna call this a beach scenario. I'm gonna spawn in one more of these, and I'm gonna have it run into a point. Okay, so it's a little zoomed out here. So you got a nice little shippy poo over here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the thing over here. So oh, this is gonna be like one of those impact tests, like one of those crash dummy tests. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, wait for it to come into frame. Uh oh, some stuff's flying by. Wait, what's that? What's all this little debris? Wait, I don't... I don't understand. Wait, what's gonna come in a frame here? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Wait! Where'd the pieces go? <laughs> we did it. We did it here. We can end the video right there. I think I'm satisfied with today's destruction. I want to do that again. So it's like the Titanic was late for its job and it's on the way back to the dock. Then all of a sudden this happens. <laughs> Wait, that actually ripped the funnels off. What the heck? Can we turn that up higher? Is there a higher setting for that? I want to say no, but look at the debris field. Look at all the stuff that's floating. It's actually falling from the sky. It's like a rain of titanic destruction. Uh, pretty sure we didn't recover anything. Wait, look at the debris field. Okay, the impact zone was over here. We can go all the way. There's still a... Wow, there's stuff in the water here. Anything over here? Okay, so it's ended about right there. You can see some stuff in the water. That's crazy. That is amazing, though. Holy man. All right, so other things that we can uh, interact with. If I go to ocean depth and go all the way up, does this instantly, like, beach the ship? All right, here we go. Nope. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go the other way. All right, here we go. Nope. Oh, it's disappointing. I thought it was going to eliminate, like, all the water. Wait. Can we do that? What if we go wave height? No. Uh, that's not going to work. I mean, what would work... You know, we haven't played with the uh, terrain tool too much. Uh, we spiked it up once, so if I were to go... Yep. Oh, okay, no, opposite. So, oh, 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 okay. Is that about the middle of the ship? I can't really tell. Hold on, let's go over here a little bit. All right. Okay, so it's poking the ship right now. At what point does it... Wait, if I were to put it up here, does it instantly go through? Hold on, let's go... Oh! Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Is it- is it one with the ship now? Is the ship even in motion? How's that- how does that work? No, it, it's interacting! Han, so what if we were to go- There we go, we just- we just buried the ship. It's fine. Nobody will ever know that it's gone. Uh, let's make one point right there. Oh, actually that kind of looks like a big middle finger. We better- <laughs> uh, we better get rid of that. There we go, we're gonna add a couple points over here. There we go. All right, so the ship is officially gone. Uh, like, is it gone or is it behind a wall of like seafloor? Hold on, I don't think we can undo this. Is it? Oh look, it's just fine. Hold on, except for the whole fact that it's kind of okay. I don't get it. How did the front of the ship get affected by that? Hold on, let's just put it up here. Yeah, how did the front of the ship get a little bit of the spike, but the rest of it was completely fine? Yet you do that. And it completely smears the ship. It's actually stuck up there. Yeah, it's hanging on by a thread. That's actually kind of cool looking. I don't understand exactly how that works. Okay, so now that we have it pinned up, if I were to go back to the uh, the terrain tool, would it actually fix this? And by fix, I mean destroy it. So if I were to go, okay, can I poke it now? I don't. No, it interacts with it to, like, a little bit, but I, I'm kind of disappointed that I can't just lay the ship down and run a spike through it. I have to actually drop it on it. Man, it's the inconvenience in life. Okay, so we're going to readjust this. Uh, I'm going to grab this. Oh, the grab tool does not work good uh, without that max strength. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh-oh. I think we're just pilling it right now. All right. I got an idea. 
I mean, it's not a good idea, but I got an idea. Okay, so we're gonna create a spike pit here. So let's do the outside of the pit. It's gonna be like this. And we'll put one on this. Oh, that was a really good spike there. All right, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna have little spikes. So we're gonna have two about the ocean surface there. So we'll go spike one, this will be spike two. The spikes are not very even, don't laugh at me. There we go, there's another spike there. Get another one here. This is like that Mortal Kombat spike pit. I think, I think it's actually called the pit. Uh, yeah, that looks good, okay. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead, you know, let's just move the ship up here. I was gonna gr try to grab it. Oh, no, no, don't fling it, don't fling it, don't fling it. Okay, so if we were to put this up here, so, you know, there's got to be a way to make this ship stronger. Hold on, let's just go like this. Let's see what happens. This is our control test here. So, we're going to go drop and... Oh, wait. You know... Oh, I forgot about the music. It's actually quite amazing how much the water cushioned that fall. If that would have been just straight up in the air, it would have been much worse. All right, so you're not going to have any bit of water to save you this time, ship. It's time to move, so we're gonna go up here. Come on, oh, I know it's a little hard to move here. We're gonna go pretty high up. I'm thinking about right uh, there. All right, here we go. All right, it's coming down. It's coming down into the spike pit, and yes, no. This ship is way too floppy. How do we make the ship not floppy? All right, mechanics, simulation quality, strength adjust. Oh, adjust the springs. Let's go, is this better or worse? Oh, no, that's much worse. Wait, this is like the uh, the Thanos button in uh, Sinking Simulator 2 that I discovered the other day. Which, by the way, if you missed that video, uh, go check that out. Uh, okay, so we need to go back up. So obviously opposite is where we want to be. Can I reload the ship without redoing the terrain? I don't think I can, can I? Dang it! All right, so strength, we're gonna go all the way. So ideally, this ship is like Superman. Like, it is not gonna be able to be destroyed. Now, as far as what's its kryptonite, I'm not really sure. We're gonna check that out real quick. Okay, do you guys think this thing's gonna actually be destroyed? I don't think it is. I think it's gonna actually hold up here. Look at that. Look at that! We have the... Wow, that's actually more floppy than before. But I guess floppy's a good thing, right? Um... Well, this is awkward. How did you park your ship up here? All right, something's got to break this, though, right? Wait, does the uh, smash tool still work, technically? Nope, yep, it still works. All right, but it's going to have to be done by force here. So let's get the grab tool. Let's see what kind of force it's going to take for this thing to uh, break apart. Whee! Come on. All right, slam it down. Here we go. Yeah, oh, oh. Oh, we snapped it. Actually, I think we just crinkled it. Like, there's no, like, defined cut there. It's morally just I smushed it a little bit. Does that mean it takes on water? Okay, you're gonna really have to get off this point. It is... Oh, it's embedded up there. Yeah, it's completely impelled. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of surgery here just to get this thing off. That way we can continue the test. So, you know, I think Komodo's like a professional surgeon. I could totally get this. All right, so we're gonna nip a little here. There we go. Nip, 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 and nip. Dang it, it's stuck even more. Okay, maybe we just nip the whole front end off. It's fine. They don't need a front end of a boat anyways. Yeah, like, ah, there we go. Okay. All right, so that's cut down a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of some of the excess. All right, I don't think we've made the situation any bit better. We're in a bit of a sticky situation here, folks. Is this a true break? Oh, we'll see. Oh, it's, there we go. Cut that. Okay. Get it to about right where that... Right where that fold is. No, that's not a true break. It's, yeah, it's still holding on. Okay, so how do we commonly get stuff down? We just throw bombs on it. Let's throw bombs right at the points here. All right, here we go. And... Oh, okay, this strength is ridiculous. All right, you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to break the game here. This is how you break floating sandbox. If this ship doesn't disappear, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. No, there's a bomb limit! Okay, can I switch to another bomb? What about impact bombs? Does this get rid of them too? No! Why would you have a bomb limit on a sandbox game? That's so annoying. Okay, you know what? Uh-oh. Oh! 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 What the heck? 
<laughs> yeah, the ship is made out of some sort of weird, gooey, uh, very sticky, very sturdy material, but did it even actually go? Oh, some pieces went down here. Wow. Wait, what would the same style ship do with the antimatter bomb? All right, so how many of these bad boys can I throw on here? I'm assuming it's the same amount. <laughs> this is stupid. I get joy out of the stupid things in life. This is definitely one of the stupid things in life. All right, that is, that's looking poppy right there. All right, here we go. Antimatter swarm versus cruise ship. And uh oh, uh oh, the game's lagging. Oh no, we might crash. We might crash it. We might crash. What the heck is going on right now? <laughs> oh no! Oh, what's gonna happen when it explodes? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. What? It literally just spit the ship out. It like hawked a, a ship loogie. Wow. I don't think it gets much better than that. How do we top that? There's a ton of other graphics options, or I shouldn't say graphics options, just options in general uh, that we haven't explored yet. Uh, there's simulation quality, which it's got a little little emblem by it. What does that mean? Higher values improve the rigidity. Is that a word? Of simulated structures. Sure. Okay, let's go up to max. Here we go. Simulation quality up to max. Oh no. What does that mean? Why is it shaking? Like, why would the quality make the ship shake? Hold on, let's turn this back down. All right? No, we don't want to go that far down. Okay, let's go apply. Um. Okay. Why does that do that? Wouldn't a higher quality, wouldn't that mean better? <laughs> it doesn't mean melt the ship. Ooh, that's actually a good tool idea. When do you have a heat ray? And we can just slowly melt the ship and make it all droopy and stuff. I actually like that idea. All right, you know what? We better turn the simulation quality down. Was it down all the way? Was it down to here? What's this mean? Oh, there we go. We got a frame rate back. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, she kind of melted on us. Uh... Yeah, none of that's gonna stay up, is it? Yep, it's going to the ocean floor. That's awesome, though. But anyways, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Floating Sandbox. We will still be playing some more of this. Uh, eventually, we are gonna run out of stuff to do, so I might rely on you guys to come up with some more suggestions, or maybe even more games like this if you're enjoying these random style games on the channel. Let me know. Uh, but I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are amazing, and we will see you guys next time in Floating Sandbox.